Wagner is live at Torrey Pines Golf Course with details mm -hmm. on today's event. Hey, Allie. Yeah, in fact, we just saw two San Diego kids that were teeing off this morning, but this brings in golfers from all over the world, and I have Scott, who is here, IMG Academy. This is so much fun because you guys were not here last year, so back to having this amazing championship here in San Diego. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to come to Torrey Pines here in San Diego, obviously. Unfortunately, we missed last year, probably the worst 18 months of everybody's lives, but we're back, and over 1,100 competitors this year. Not quite as many as the usual 1,400, uh, but 1,100 is pretty good, all things considered. We've got eight golf courses working this week, and uh, 42 different countries represented, and 42 states from the USA, so it's nice to get back to some kind of normality. Yeah, and of course, um, we were just talking about the opportunity for these kids to, not only are they the best of the best in junior golf, but they're getting to play a lot of the same pin placement as the US Open that was just here. So I think there is a little bit of buzz when they're getting out on the course today. Absolutely. So what they're going to do is the pin placements for the first round are the same as the US Open in the second, third and fourth day as well. So they're going to play the same course, same pin placement, and they're actually playing at a similar length as well to what the pros played it last month in the US Open. So the rough's not quite as long, but it's still a good challenge for these guys. So we're going to have a good winner at the end of the week. Yeah, and of course, when you're talking about winners, you've had some big names that have won this tournament before and gone on to play on the tour. Absolutely. So if you look at the leaderboards for the boys and the girls over the years, some very famous names on there. Of course, Tiger's on there. Um, and if you go back further, major winner Nick Price as well many years ago, Craig Stadler, another big golfer from the past. And uh, more recently, Joaquin Neiman is uh, playing on the PGA Tour as well. So it does produce some good golfers. Yeah, and like I said, it's literally, I've watched every guy who's teed off here on the first one. They hit, I mean, it's insane how good they are. Does it still kind of, do you go, oh my gosh, these kids are amazing? Oh, they are amazing. I mean, it's a different game. I'm old, so from when I was their age, it's a different game these days. These guys all bomb it. They'll, they'll make this course look somewhat short. Yeah. Um, but even, even with the first tee, big tournament, big pressure, you're right. I don't think I've seen anyone miss the fairway here. <laughs> And it's an, crazy. And they're narrow U.S. Open fairways <laughs> as well, so it's not like they're wide. Yeah, and I think, of course, this is also, like you said, I mean, it's bringing in a lot of people to San Diego. You're talking about tourists who are in the hotels who are coming, so that's, of course, a great uh, element as well. Yeah, it's great to bring business, obviously, to the local area, so it's good for the area as well. Um, you know, I know the colleges around here as well, and the college coach is great for them. There's a lot of college coaches out here looking mm -hmm. and watching at players, so it helps them. They don't have to travel as much and they can come see great players and do some recruiting yeah this is just incredible the best of the best and i saw two san diego kids um who actually teed off here i know that one of them his name was townsend and the other one i'm gonna have to try to remember i'll find the sheet i'll figure it out all right but the best of the best out here at tory pines i will say though the north course if you're curious because obviously the u.s open sign is still here can you see the bulldozers over there to your right miguel right there so they're still working on the north course um if you were interested in that they're hoping the fall they will have that all said and done because of course the u.s open tore up the north course so it's only the south um that they are playing on but just fyi yeah there are still bulldozers over there <laughs> we'll send things back over to you yeah i'm yes. glad we're glad you pointed that out because when we took to that do. Bump shot leading into you, Allie. We saw, yeah, the U.S. Open still signs had still had all up. the U.S. There's Open signs. Still a and, lot of that. Which is cool for people yeah. to go still take mm -hmm. pictures. I with. like, they put the IMG Academy sign up here, but then the U.S. Open is right beyond <laughs> right. that. So <laughs> there it it's is. Quite the photo op is still there. Right. I like it. Really cool. That's the first thing. Yeah. Scott goes, that's the first thing I did the other day was take my picture down there. <laughs> Send it back to the Academy for social media. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody's thinking it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's really cool that we have two local kids in in this uh, tournament. So, best of the best, man. Thank you, Allie. Yes, Mark has a question. Who's oh. that real famous oh. British golf announcer? 